and we fall down, we fall down, we fall down on us. Good evening, everyone. I'm Evangela Pringle, Center Manager of Pregnancy Aid Illinois North Aurora, formerly PIC. I am so sorry to miss this important event. I wish I could be there to meet, greet, fellowship, and hug each and every one of you in person. I also hope you have enjoyed the wonderful food provided by Odyssey in Tinley Park and Chef Matt and Heather out of the Oswego uh, location. Some of you may know I am currently flying home from Israel where for the last two weeks I have been blessed to walk where our Lord has walked and I have experienced the incredible beauty of the sacred land of Zion. So welcome to the 2023 banquet. I want to thank you for joining us for this very important fundraising event without which we could not operate this ministry. So again, thank you for attending. Sadly, we live at a time when the careless, willful genocide of future generations is the top priority of the government. In particular, our governor has declared his desire for Illinois to become the abortion capital of the United States. We must allow this declaration of murder to inspire us that there is no more important time than now to fight for those who are voiceless. Like in the days of Noah, when every imagination of the thoughts of man's heart was evil, Governor Pritzker's declaration is in direct opposition to God's sovereign declaration for mankind to choose life. We must therefore draw the proverbial line in the sand and stand shoulder to shoulder with one another and other true faith-based organizations to hold the biblical truths to accomplish God's business to fulfill this great calling. For the next generation is at stake. We are here today because we are all familiar with the stats. Over 62 million innocent babies audaciously and legally murdered since 1973's Roe versus Wade. Tragically, this unspeakable evil is happening all over the world today. Mankind is devastated. America is devastated. But most important, the Creator is devastated. Because America is a leading nation in the world, if we can impact our nation with God's providential purpose given to us, choose life, I fully believe the world will follow. We are seeing the prophecies of Ezekiel, Daniel, and Revelations played out daily right before our eyes. Our calling is not easy, nor is our path for the faint of heart. The pro-life movement is the front lines of cultural wars. The only way to win this conflagration is to imbib God's admonition to Joshua. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So let's step back a little bit and let me remind you, PIC has been here on the front line for 38 years. Past 40 years, they've been on the front line this year. Last year in October, PIC and PASS merged together, which means we became one. During COVID, so many organizations like ours did not survive. However, by merging together, by working together, we strengthen one another to cover more ground here in Illinois and the Midwest. PIC has now moved to North Aurora and is now called PAI, Pregnancy Aid Illinois, in keeping with all of past resource centers. We have been working so very hard the last few months to beautify and prepare this new location on Lincoln Way for the battle ahead. We are here to serve the lost, the least of these, the confused, and frankly, ladies and gentlemen, the fearful mothers looking for answers that obviously Planned Parenthood cannot provide. Why are we strategically placed here, like the state of Illinois tourism says in the middle of it all? Why are we in the middle of America's breadbasket? Pass has five resource centers, soon to be six if I know Steve Gentleman Donna Williams, my guess is that our governor has thumbed his nose and raised his fist and declared war against God's most vulnerable creations. To successfully fight this battle, 
We must learn to cry out to God regularly. We need to meditate on his word at every opportunity. We need Christians to occupy the seats of government on all levels and on all fronts. And we must come together and vote for biblical truths. Ladies and gentlemen, we need revival, renewal, reformation, and awakening now. As liberals are forcing their agendas on the entire country and world, I repeat like Joshua, we must be strong and very courageous for the Lord our God is in fact with us. We must not be weary in well-doing. We must not fall for the same old tricks of the enemy, for we have been given an overwhelmingly important and eternal assignment. But we, me, Angela, the staff and volunteers of PAI and PASS in la at large, desperately need your help. We need both your prayers and your financial support. I repeat, we cannot do this work alone without you, the body of Christ. Remember, we are all in this together. Thank you so much. May the one and only Lord God, the King of heaven and earth, continue to bless and keep each of you for his glory. Please know that I love you and I pray for you. Good night and thanks so much for attending. Hope to see you soon.